This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Hymnal 101 with Higher Things. Let's talk about the divine services. Yes, those divine services that we do from our hymnal on Sundays in our churches. What exactly is going on with the divine service? I don't know about you, but I know when I was a child, I often would think that going to church was all about giving my best to God, that I would go to worship God, and that God was some distant audience uh, listening to see how well I would perform on a particular Sunday. In fact, even as a pastor, I've heard this sentiment before. I remember one time a lady coming up to me and saying, you know, Pastor Richard, I really hope that God was pleased with our worship today, that we sang well enough for him. You see, what's going on here is this, is that kind of thinking sees the speaker being the parishioner and God is the audience. If you will, the arrow goes from the pew to God. The arrow is all about going this way towards the altar, towards the front. However, when it comes down to the divine service, just thinking about the term divine service, what we understand, it isn't about us serving the Lord, but about the divine one, the Lord himself servicing us, that God is the speaker and that we as parishioners are the audience, that the arrow is from here to here. Uh, I came across an article the other day from a church. It was actually from a Lutheran uh, uh, church itself, a worship committee, and here's what they say on this subject. It's just so profound to share with you. It says this, it has often been taught before that we speak to God in our worship, that we summon his presence and offer him praise. This view sees God as the audience in worship, However, get this, they say this just profound. However, this is a pagan concept of worship. In pagan worship, the worshiper comes before his or her God to bring offerings and to present requests in order to please a particular God and to get that God to respond to the worshiper in the way that the worshiper wants that God to respond. Christian worship, get this, is the exact opposite. God is the speaker. Indeed, God is the speaker, and we are the audience. He has called us together into his church, invited us before him, so that he can talk to us. Both in the Old and New Testament, we hear this as well, that God speaks. It is central to the gathering. God speaks, and we listen through his word, the Bible. God shows us his character and his works. He speaks to us about our sin, and he speaks to us about the forgiveness of that sin in Christ Jesus He comes to give us gifts, that God is the speaker and we are the receivers, the audience. There you have it. I mean, that's just a profound way of thinking about it, that worship, that divine service, as we see in our hymnals, it is about us receiving the gifts, that the pastor, he stands and he faces us and he speaks that absolution into our ears. He lays that body and that blood of Christ right upon our tongue and into our bellies. And then as a result of receiving those gifts, we turn and we respond in praise and thanksgiving to our Lord and God, who is the giver of all gifts. So God, he is the speaker. We are the audience. He speaks. We hear, and then we respond in thanks. That is the divine service that we have in our hymnals. So I hope that helps, and we'll catch you next time.